All right, right now I am going to show you guys how to add a document into your loop that is from a template. So it's not from your desktop. It's not something that you're uploading. Okay, so right now I am in a listing loop that I created um, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm noticing that, you know, there's a, a document that isn't automatically uploaded. It wasn't already in the template that um, the office, you know, has up for me. So, okay, so I noticed it's not there. So I, and I, it's an MLS form. So I'm going to go to templates right here, this big blue square on the left. And now I can choose which document I want to add and it'll automatically get popped into my loop. So let's see, let's go down to Stellar MLS. That's the MLS that I am in right now. And then these are all of the, you know, optional sort of MLS forms that you can, can choose from depending on what type of listing you have. So I am gonna go down to Residential Input Form. I'm gonna click the checkbox. And I'm going to click copy. All right, so it's notified me that it's been imported. I'm going to click OK. And then it's right here at the top. So I can open that up. And I can autofill everything here, you know, make sure everything's correct. Um, and everything looks good to go. I'm just going to say autofill. And here we have, it's already auto-filled with a bunch of stuff for me. I can go in and check boxes, whatever I need to do, add in all of the other stuff, and then save. When I'm done, I can save and share if I want to, but I'm just going to save for now. And then I can go back to my listing. Don't want to share it this time. And there we are. It's right here. So that's how you add a document from a template.